lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Now, we know what Megan Thee Stallion did to Nicki Minaj, but what in the world did she do to Tokyo Tony? Before we dive deeper into this topic, you guys already know what I'm about to say. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Now, Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj's beef is clearly getting other people involved. And when I say other people, I mean Tokyo Tony. Tokyo Tony has been coming for Megan Thee Stallion in the wake of her beef with Nicki. First, she makes a diss freestyle shading Megan. Then she runs into fans that are fans of her and Megan Thee Stallion. And she refuses to take pictures with them. Why? Because they are fans of Megan Thee Stallion. Then she gets on live and calls Megan an Illuminati puppet. But could this beef be ancient between Tokyo Tony and Megan Thee Stallion? In Megan Thee Stallion's his song, she has a line that reads, I can never be judged by a B that was dancing, making money to R. Kelly, or actually making R. Kelly go viral, excuse me. Now, Megan wasn't specific in that line and had a lot of people thinking, who was she talking about? But let me tell you this, Tokyo Tony was on live talking about how in her younger days, she used to be a dancer and she was dancing to what? R. Kelly's Seems Like You Ready song. And this is the video right here on the screen. I will also have it posted on my Instagram with the audio so you guys don't think I'm capping. So if Megan was shading Tokyo, it makes sense why Tokyo is so up Upset and going so hard at Megan Thee Stallion but on the other hand I think it's safe to say that Tokyo Tony will go on anybody okay heck she was even coming for her daughter at one point and she was literally just saying that she was going to smack Nicki Minaj at one point now I've seen some comments of people saying that they think Tokyo Tony might be on some substances and some people saying that she might be dealing with something mentally y'all let me know what y'all think about Tokyo Tony inserting herself in Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj's beef okay she made up a whole rap song child now speaking of Megan Thee Stallion could we be seeing some competition between her and Nicki when it comes to tours we know that Nicki Minaj is about to go on her Pink Friday 2 tour that starts in the beginning of March and ends in July well get this Megan Thee Stallion just announced on Good Morning America that she is planning to take over the summer how with her own hot girl summer tour child now Nicki is having her tour Megan is having her tour child i want to know whose show are y'all planning on going to this summer is it nikki is it megan or are you going to vote y'all i might show up at both Moving on to Rick Ross and his baby mother, Tia Kemp. Now, Rick Ross has finally decided to respond to his baby mother, Tia Kemp. And I'm pretty sure this is what Tia Kemp wanted, okay? She's wanted Rick Ross to respond to her. And if you guys don't already know, I've been talking about this in my previous videos. Tia Kemp is Rick Ross's baby mother. And she has been going off on him on live every day, okay? Since he has been in this new relationship with his new girlfriend, Christina McKee. Now, it's not really clear what happened between Rick Ross and Tia Kemp. But as I've been told, Brooke Ross and Tia Kemp have been on and off in a relationship for years. Plus, they have an 18 year old son. So, who really knows what happened between the two? But I was suggesting that maybe she was taken off guard that Rick Ross got into this new relationship with Christina McKee with their relationship being so on and off with each other, okay? Now, Tia Kemp has been exposing all of Rick Ross's information, his pillow talk, what he been saying about his friends behind his friends backs people in the industry what he says about them I mean she has been saying it all and it looks like Rick Ross has had enough so he decided to respond today on his insta story not him calling her granny child he said you must have Alzheimer's granny because September the 26th 2023 I let you mop and do my pedicure you were in the best spirits okay so this is Rick Ross saying that he was just with Tia Kemp on September the 26th, 2023. So he doesn't even understand why she is so upset. Now, if you guys know, I said this in my previous videos, 
I said it seems like Tia Kemp, like I said, was just taken off guard because she was just with Rick Ross and now he's just popping up in this new relationship. And it seems like that's exactly what it is. Now we know that Rick Ross didn't already send Tia Kemp that cease and desist, but she don't care. She's still going at it. She going live every day. And I will have to say this, Tia Kemp is funny, child. Like it's one thing to be entertaining and she might be right when she said that she's coming to take Krishan's spot because it's one thing to be entertaining and Krishan yes she's entertaining she does things for shock value but with Tia Kemp she's entertaining and funny okay I cannot stop watching her lives if you haven't seen it definitely make sure you check it out I even have it posted on my insta story but Tia Kemp is blowing up with the way that she's going live and talking about her baby daddy Rick Ross it's like where has Tia Kemp been all this time okay because usually she don't go live all these years she's been back and forth with Rick Ross yes she's went live a couple of times but she's doing this every day and people is enjoying it okay she is standing on business when it comes to her baby daddy Rick Ross and to me I don't think this is the first or last time that Rick Ross will be responding to his baby mother Tia Kemp I think these two are going to get into it you know but also I think if she continues with this they might just get back together I mean she said some messed up stuff in 2018 about him and even his mother and his sister in 2018 and he decided to get back with her you know so all of the stuff that she's saying now it doesn't matter because he will get back with her after everything she's exposing allegedly he might y'all let me know what y'all think now can we get a hand clap for Kanye West Let's get an applause going for Kanye West because Kanye West decided to grab this camera from a reporter, actually her phone. Let me get that straight. And people are talking about this, trying to make like Kanye West was so wrong. But can we talk about how the reporter was wrong? Let's go ahead and get into this article to get some more information from New York Post. Shout out to them. I really don't like the way they wrote this article, but we're going to go ahead and get into it anyways, or the title. It says, Kanye West grabs camera from paparazzi after asks if he's controlling wife Bianca are you crazy okay it says kanye west angrily snatches a tmz reporter's phone on monday after she asks if he is quote unquote controlling his wife bianca who is 29 amid fans ongoing concerns about her well-being people just want to know if bianca has free will child this was the silliest question that you could ask anybody the outlet reporters asked west who is 46 as he walked to charlie wilson's walk of fame ceremony on hollywood with Boulevard in Los Angeles. Some people are saying that you're controlling, she added as the power rapper suddenly confiscated her recording device and shoved it in his pocket. See, this article is trying to act like, oh, Kanye West was just stumping down the street and he just angrily grabs this reporter's phone. Like, this woman was all up in his face and she asked him the silliest question. Does she have free will? Everybody has free will, baby. Anyways, it says, with his face completely covered in a black mask, the former billionaire launched into a three-minute rant. Launched. This is so dramatic. Three-minute rant towards the reporter asking, are you crazy? You think because you're a white woman, you can walk up on me like that and ask me some DA-ish like that, asking me about my wife, if she has free will, are you crazy? Wes and Censor, a former Yeezy architect, legally married on December the 20th, 2022. Sensory, that's her name, Sensory, excuse me, is now notorious for wearing his outfits, which fans believe were orchestrated by the Love Lockdown singer. You got free will or do you work for the devil? Wes asked the reporter demanding that she tell him her full name and address. Demanding, like I said, I'm really disappointed in New York Post because this is very dramatic. Ironically, dressed in a Taylor Swift crew neck, the reporter eventually identified herself as Melanie. And nowhere in this article I want to point out did they talk about how Kanye West literally offered this woman and said that he was going to pay this woman at the end of all of this fiasco that happened. He said that he was going to pay her double of what TMZ, the company that she works for, is going to pay her. Okay, but they didn't even put this in this article because they were so focused on making Kanye West out to be the bad guy when this reporter came into his face. Now, look, I do not condone taking anybody's property. I think that was wrong. He should have never took her for property. But 
honestly, as a reporter, as paparazzi or whatever, because this article is calling her paparazzi and then a reporter at the same time things can go left really fast but like I said this article is not pointing out the fact that Kanye West did something really nice for a woman that was coming at him some type of way and asked him like I said a very very silly question so shame on you New York Post for really doing this article and just trying to make Kanye West out to be the bad person and not really including his good deeds so I understand where artists and influencers come from when they feel like oh bloggers and reporters only want to report the negative because this article didn't even get into the good that he did like y'all already know like when your parent they have a talk with you or they going off on you and they just mad at you coming at you some type of way but then at the end of it they used to give you a plate or be like come and eat your food what really matters is that you got a good meal okay it doesn't really matter everything that they were saying like yes you want to listen to what they said you want to take it in but you got a good meal after they was going off on you okay it's the same thing with Kanye West like who really cares what happened between them this woman is about to get paid double from what she was going to get paid from TMZ from what they were going to pay her so I don't understand why they didn't put that in the article but I do understand why okay y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section now I know you guys seen the title of this video let's go ahead and get into our last topic which is going to be Lotto okay Lotto recently was featured in JLo's song Can't Get Enough. This was actually originally just JLo's song and now she has a remix featuring Lotto, okay? And now in this song, Lotto, she gets into her relationship seemingly, allegedly, with 21 Savage and she reveals a lot of information. She also decides to reveal why she is not posting her man 21 savage let's go ahead and get into these lyrics it says spoil the beat down and he faithful to me too you know you the reason why they hating on me boo can't get enough like let me get some more you know when it comes to me he loved to do the most i ain't scared of a ghost of a ghost he bought me one of those keep them out our business i ain't trying to post like is it too good to be true now there's been a lot that's been said and even fans coming at lotto sideways because they're like why are you with a man when you can't even post him basically insinuating that lotto can't post her man 21 savage and a lot of people were speculating it was because 21 savage is still married but i let you guys know and read the article that said that 21 savage is not married anymore he's actually divorced and a lot of people were saying it's because of his citizenship there's just been a lot of rumors to why people feel like lotto and 21 savage can't post each other in this song lotto is letting it be known that it's not that she can't post her man it's that she doesn't want to post her man why because she wants to keep him out of our business so she wants to keep everyone and the public out of her and 21 savages business that's why she doesn't want to post or she doesn't want either one of them posting each other. We know that things can kind of get messy, okay, when the public is in a relationship. But I feel like if you guys are really locked in, it really shouldn't matter. But I want to know what you guys think about all of these topics, my lovely TTs, in the comments section. Once again, thank you for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end and like i always say i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night